Hello everyone. Today I'm going to share a super fun craft with you. Flower shaped personalized scented sachets. They would make a great little gift and are easy enough for beginners. Even children can learn on this project. Here's what you'll need to make your sachet. You will need two pieces of fabric cut into a larger flower shape and a contrasting fabric cut into a smaller flower. I also cut a small circle for the center. I'm using acrylic felt, but you can use wool felt. Both are easy to hand embroider. For the applique, I'll be using a 100 weight cottonized polyester called Invisafil. Your applique stitches will disappear in your fabric. I will use a fine applique needle with this thread. I will use a heavier 8 weight thread to do my embellishing stitches. I have chosen Wonderfill Eleganza for this project. I will use a Milner's or Chenille needle for this thread. The last thing you'll need is some lavender to fill your sachet. A small funnel or spoon will help you get the lavender into the pouch. First, I will thread my needle with Invisafil. If I tie a knot right behind the eye of the needle, my thread won't slip out while I stitch. I will attach the center circle to the smaller flower. And then I can attach the smaller flower to the larger one with a simple, small whip stitch. Now I'm going to show you how to do some optional decorative stitching. I'll use the larger needle and the eleganza to decorate my sachet. A simple chain stitch or back stitch will add some outline stitching and French knots will decorate the center. To do a chain stitch, bring your knotted thread from the underside up at your starting point. Drop your needle back down right beside the hole you made coming up, but don't pull your thread all the way through. Leaving this little loop, come back up at the inside of the tip of the loop and drop it back down inside the same hole to make sure you leave another loop the same length. Continue this process around the flower in a tidy chain stitch. Now we can add a few clusters of French knots. Don't forget to knot your thread on one end and bring it up from behind the fabric. Then wrap the thread around your needle three to four times. Bring your needle back into the fabric close to where you came up and push the needle and thread all the way through without pulling too hard, which can pull the knot out. That's all there is to it. I'm going to add a few straight stitches to further decorate my flower. Now you're ready to blanket stitch the two large flower pieces together. Repeat these steps with regular spacing to create an even stitch. Pause when you have a 2 inch opening left. Now you can add the lavender. Use a spoon or a funnel to fill the sachet. Distribute it evenly. Then continue your blanket stitch to close the opening. So that's it. You can use this same process to make sachets in different shapes and decorate them however you like. Don't forget to subscribe for more great tutorials and give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Or you can leave a comment below and let us know what you'd like to see next. 
We'll see you all next time.